As Governor Uma has risen for two APC being justified with the recent decision of PDP, the defection of Governor David Umahi came as a surprise to many Nigerians, especially those that f those that following the political situation in the country. His defection from the People's Democratic Party to the ruling All Progressive Congress generated lots of comments and reactions. Recall that Governor Umahi, who is the current governor of Ebony State, was among the top PDP politician before he defected however before he, def he defected however media speculations and it's that he joined the apc because of the 2023 presidential ticket but the governor clarified that it was a false media speculation and that he might even retire from politics after his second tenure in office as governor by 2023 this was contained in the report by Chinese tv Dated November 17, 2020, in the report, Governor Umahi explained that leaving the PDP was in protest of the alleged injustice by the current opposition party PDP against the South East. The governor further explained that his reason to join APC was for the interests of the Igbos. Hence, reflecting on the reason Governor Umahi gave them gave when he dumped PDP for APC, I concluded that its reason has probably been justified with the recent media reports that the People's Democratic Party is likely to zone its 2023 presidential ticket to the North. The report as it that PDP is seeking to use the Northern voting strength as an advantage to unseat APC in 2023. Therefore, could it be said that Governor Umahi had the foresight that PDP will be zoning its 2023 tickets to the north, hence they come to APC and this would be the injustice and unfairness Governor Umahi was talking about. Recall that PDP has zoned the 2019 tickets to the north, hence Governor Umahi was expecting that PDP would have zoned the 2023 tickets to the east to either him or any of the top politicians from the southeast because there are strong agitation and calls for the southeast for the region to produce the next president of the country. <laughs> Umahi, I wouldn't even support you to become president the president of Nigeria in 2023 because you're a straightforward man. So why would I even waste my strength on someone like you that I want to campaign for you or advise any member of my family to even campaign for you for 2023. You that had already sold your people out to the Fulanese. So it's good that you are getting what you deserve. Even if the PDP decide to dump you or if you like the camp, camp, the, the camp defect yourself from PDP to APC, from APC to NNPP is none of our business. ANPP, wherever you want to go to, go there. Who cares? Nobody in the southern region really cares about you anymore. You and Hope, both of you, are a big disgrace. So I don't really care about what happens to the both of you. But let's go to the conversation here. What people have to say about Umahi. Umahi can only fool himself. Neither the Eagles nor Nigerians. When we were here when someone told us that no matter the amount of sins any politicians may have committed if he or she jumps into apc such one sin are forgiven therefore uma his defection to apc was a total validation of that statement by Oshomole. for that mr uma he should be point and point and black to tell us what took him to apc shame on nigerian politicians who do politics without the fine ideology you are the one fooling yourself the question is as umahi reason of dumping pdp justified the answer is yes pdp has ceded their tickets to the north and you didn't see anything wrong honestly you need to have your brains checked that is not the problem with nigeria right now as it stands right now we don't really care where the presidency comes from be it north west south whatever East, we don't care. What we want right now is a good 
person, a good governance, a man with integrity, a man of his words, a man who is educated and well exposed. That is the kind of person we want in Nigeria. Not all these outdated old men who has nothing to offer. So if we are going to talk about presidency, it doesn't matter where the person comes from. It shouldn't be about religion. It shouldn't be about ethnicity. It shouldn't be about anything of sorts. Let it be basically according to the person's character and the person's determination of what the person can do to our to do for our people not to our people so that's just it i don't really understand why you people are always talking about pdp this apc that it should be an individual personality and not the party the person is coming out from that is it because at first we thought that this apc has run there for a longer period that we should allow the age well and now see where apc has already driven nigeria to he took us back to the 60s instead of taking us forward to the 20s so now tell me what you're talking about it should have been better for us to just allow pdp to continue ruling the, the state because pdp is chop make i chop no one was hungry so what are you talking about you are the one who is fooling yourself you are the one who don't know what to say unfortunately even Ibu's commenting on this thread don't see anything wrong in the PDP siding the presidential tickets to the north for another eight years. Yes, they are at the forefront shouting marginalization, injustice, oppression. It's indeed a pity. Does not really matter. It's an individual take and what the person has to offer. If that per if one comes out from the north, if that person is understanding and that person has peace, love, and unity, those three symbols in him, then that person can definitely run this country without any bigotry or any nepotism. So that is how it is. It's not just being a Nortana or being an APC or a PDP member. All those things does not really work. Have APC sided their presidential candidates to the East? Have Nortana's better than other tribes in nigeria since their brothers buhari came to power do you think presidential candidate is Igbo's headache only selfish few are thinking about it well all the people from the Igbo clowns or should i say the people from the southern region and the eastern region all the is marginalization and that is all they do not want any presidencies so all those people talking about presidencies to the east they are all doing this for themselves that's all you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article thanks for listening